Welcome to episode 45, Anacam Sailing Australia. This episode, we sail from Gladstone up to the Whitsunday Islands. This would be our last day here in Gladstone. Our last chance to pick up a few of the provisions we needed before we sail away. We jump on board the Marina Courtesy Bus with Matt, our driver. Dawn and Darrell of one of the other yachts, we head to one of the big shopping centres. Once back on Anacam, it's time to get everything squared away before we go to the marina office to do our final checkout as we leave. After we made contact with Harbour Control to find Clear to go across the harbour, we proceeded just under motor. As you can see, there was very little breeze out there. As you can see, the sun is almost down and it was time for us to drop our anchor in the facing channel just behind facing island. Good night's sleep. This was our views the early the next morning, just before we lifted our anchor and got underway. Anchors away, we are off. We set up three rods with three lures out the back, but this was a day where the fish just wouldn't play the game. The weather forecast was for very light winds, and it turned into a day where we had to motor just to get to where we were going. Come from? We just come from Gladstone. <laughs> And where are we going? We are going to Great Keppel Island. <laughs> and we're about to cross the... Tropic of Capricorn. <laughs> into the tropics, where it will be another 20 degrees warmer. <laughs> Maybe not quite <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for turtles again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no turtles behind you this time. Okay, dear. This landmark would be Cape Capricorn, marking our transition from the south into the tropics. Up ahead, we can just make out a small island called Hummocky Island. This would be our anchorage for the night.
anchorage at Hamaki Island turned into a very nice spot to sit and watch the sun go down. It was also a great place to watch the sunrise the next morning just before we set our sails for Great Keppel Island. Land ho! That would be Great Keppel Island up ahead. Persistence pays off. We can make the call, fish on! As you can see, we very rarely give the fish a chance. We don't slow the boat down. Once they're planing on the top, we wind them straight up to the transom. We have one very happy admiral, as she makes the call on a nice solid tuna. Timing is everything. We approach Great Keppel Island to drop our anchor just in time for some fresh tuna for lunch. This would be a Great Keppel Island Sunset. We set our sails once again. This time, we sailed past North Keppel Island. Our destination today will be Island Head Creek, up in Shoalwater Bay. As we sail through the jogly, confused seas, we notice that the landscape up here is absolutely stunning. But once inside Island Head Creek, this is our beautiful calm anchorage for the night. Anchors away as Annie takes the helm to guide us back out through the creek, out into the open sea, where our next destination will be Leicester Island. This would be our anchorage for the night, and as we looked around we noticed that the weather was starting to change, and the next morning was to prove us right, as we started to get a lift in the wind, and the rain started rolling in, as we are on passage to Percy Island. We anchored in West Bay on Middle Percy Island. We found this a great holding anchorage, but it didn't keep much of the swell out as we rocked and rolled the whole time we were there. We launched McKenna, our dinghy, and went into the beach. This would be the first time we've had terra firma under our feet in over a week.
I've read about the Percy Hilton in the past, but this is the first time that we have been here, and it exceeded all expectations. Absolutely amazing. This is the location where all the boats that have come before us have left a memento, a part of their boats, part of themselves, their boat name, their flag, or whatever, for all that come after to see. We spent hours just wandering around, reading all of the names. Some of the boats we knew, some of them we'd never heard of before. There's even a facility here where you can make up your own boat name, as these fellow cruisers were doing. And here would be our own burgee. Annie made up this one with our name and a can on it. We couldn't help but notice that the sand on this beach was almost pure silicious, white and bright, and it even hurt the eyes when the sun shone on it. We even found the time for a friendly game of Potomac. One of our fellow cruiser's children, young Ethan, showed us how it was done. We went for a stroll from one end of this little beach to the other, up into a lagoon, where we found these two catamarans sitting up high and dry, and they can get away with it with six metre tides we are having here. We found this coconut while we're strolling on the beach, so it was time for that coconut moment on Anacam. We found these things like breaking into Fort Knox. And once we we're in, the beautiful coconut milk is nice and fresh. This would be the Australian Navy showing up on our AIS. Fish on as a beautiful little mackerel gives it up for at least two beautiful meals. As we approach Scorpul Island and we choose Refuge Bay as our resting place for the night, beautiful it was. The very next morning, were greeted by this magnificent sunrise as another Bavaria 46 is silhouetted 
against the rising sun in the background. This day started off great and was just getting better all of the time when this pot of dolphin showed up to play on our bow it seemed like for hours. We love dolphin. We love these majestic creatures surfing on our bow wave. We both love standing on the bow and watching and talking to these lovely creatures. We sailed through heaps and heaps of streaks of algal bloom on our way from Scorful Island heading to Shore Island. Our final approach to Shore Island as we were to anchor in the South End in Kennedy Sound, part of the Lindemann Group. After a beautiful night's sleep anchored down at Shore Island, we were sailing up through the Whitsunday Passage on our way to Airlie Beach. Yay team, we made it to the Whitsundays. Here we are anchored out in front of the Able Point Marina at Airlie Beach. Keep watching this space as we will take you around and show you some of the sights around the Whitsundays in the next episode of Anacam Sailing Australia. This is our track and all of our waypoints from Gladstone up to the Whitsunday Islands. Our waypoints for those that wish to follow. We will take two. Yeah. Okay, young lady. Mm -hmm. Where have we just come from? We come from Gladstone. We come from Gladstone? Yes. And? And? Where are we going? Look right behind you in the water. Yeah. He's about to be eaten. Unreal. <laughs>
Now, have you just got photo bombed by a toidle? He's zooming in on you. Get out of my face. Desperate times call for desperate measures to get some sort of internet signal to get our weather. But when we're out on the outer islands, we launch our mobile Wi Fi router up the mast. We sure can make a mess of the cockpit on Anakam. I don't think the Admiral is impressed. <laughs> <laughs>